Hey guys, back for another Theros draft. We're gonna join a 4-3-2-2 queue here. Uh, let's see if we can't pick up another uh, another win here. Uh, I have been drafting a bit slower strategies, going with like a green green base strategy, kind of splashing whatever we open. But uh, I'm going to try to force a more aggressive strategy here. Um, there are some certain aggressive decks with like God's Willing and stuff that you can get that are almost unbeatable. Uh, it, it, God's Willing can be a very, very, very good card. But, uh, I mean, we'll see what's open. I, I draft whatever's open. But I'm going to try to lean to more an aggressive strategy here. Alright, let's see what we open. Okay. Well, that's a card that I'm going to take because it's worth tickets and if we draft around it, we can definitely land in some good a good blue devotion deck. The problem, however, is that we are passing. Like, I think the next pick will probably be like Wingsteed and Tathasa and Sip of Hemlock. Uh, best cards in the pack, I mean, Master, Thassa's Emissary, the Wingsteed Rider, the Sip are, are all the best cards, so that's why they are going to go next. If I did want to go, and if this wasn't worth like 10 tickets, I would f just take the Wingsteed Rider and hope that white's open. But this card is can just be absurd in draft and it's worth tickets so I am going to take it here and who knows we might actually wheel away Crash Triton so yeah, we'll take it here Hope hopefully blue is open um, I'm just gonna take a deal here like um, Leaf Crown Dryad, Nessie and Corsair, Nemesis Immortals, Nylea's Emissary are all very good cards uh, hopefully Eidolon's very good as well but uh, I think I'm just gonna take the blue card here and uh, Try to try, yeah. Just try to stick on the blue path here. Maybe try to go like a uh, a blue white uh, heroic aggro deck, but try to pick up as many blue cards to make Master of Waves that just that much more powerful when we cast it. Um, that may be the incorrect pick. Like Nemesis Mortals or Leaf Crown Dryad are probably the two I'd pick if Ordeal wasn't here. But I'm gonna just try to stick to the blue the blue strategy here. Who knows? Maybe we'll uh, open a Thassa pack two or three. That'd be pretty nice. Would not complain about a Thassa. Okay. Well, the green cards keep coming. Um, I mean, I'm not going to take a Benthic Giant here. Uh, I don't know. We've just passed so much good green. The good thing is about being green is there, there is there is a lot of very good cards, and I think the best green card here is just Time Defeat. I'm going to take Time Defeat. I could take the Evangel, because we've only really passed two good white cards in God's Willing and the uh, the Flyer in our first pack, but I'm going to take Time Defeat here, just because I think it's a bit better than Void Gene Seder, just because it is removal. And here, um, I'll just take the Grip Tide. Uh, Vaporkin is ca a card that I want in this deck. Like, Vaporkin with uh, Ordeal Athasa is, is amazing. Um, we're definitely passing some good white cards, and uh, too bad there wasn't, like, a super, super good white card in the last pack. I probably would have taken it and been happy with, like, the Phalanx Leader here. But I think we're going to take the Griptide because it is the best card in the pack, I think. But uh, Vaporkin would be a welcome addition to the deck. Okay. Well, this is nice. Um, I mean, this tells me white's open, uh, and I'm just going to take it here. Uh, Daunt Dauntless Onslaught's a very good trick, but this card is just a house. Uh, it's probably the best bestow creature, in my opinion. It's just, it's so good on its own, it's absolutely absurd if you can bestow it onto somebody. So we're just going to take the Heliod's Emissary here. Perfect. Uh, I mean, our Teaching of Forms is, is a, definitely a, a great card, but uh, Triton Fortune Hunter is what I, what I want in a deck like this. Uh, and the good thing about going blue white is the um, I can't believe I can't remember his name, but uh, the uh, the blue white uh, the two drop that when you target it it gets a counter and you scry one. So if we can get like a nice blue white aggro shell and have like master waves as a nice finisher finisher, then uh, it's gonna be pretty good. Um, just take the white card here. It's nothing special, but it's a three power, three mana creature. So it's it's decent. I think it's better than taking the monarch wall. Or uh, the the Cackling Triton. I mean, we could definitely go uh, like a, a nice uh, blue a blue red tempo deck, but uh, I'm I do want to hedge towards the white just because it, it works really well. 
Um, so I think the best card in the pack is definitely the Evangel of Heliod here. It can definitely just finish some games if you put enough tokens into play. A Breezing Hippocampus, or Hippocamp, is a fine card. Honestly, not the most appealing. I could just take a two drop and just, yeah, you know what? I am going to take the Philosopher and try to just go super aggressive. Uh, that might be incorrect. So yeah, we, we actually wield the Dissolve and the Wavecrash Triton. And I, like, Wavecrash Triton definitely fits what we're trying to do a bit more. But Dissolve is an uncommon and it's very good. Very, very good. I don't know. I mean, this is just so good with what we're attempting to do. And it, it's a permanent that helps with the Master of Waves. I think we take the Wavecrash Triton. And that might be incorrect because Dissolve is such a good card. But uh, Wave Crash Triton is definitely good in a deck like this. Um, I mean, if if uh, Green's more open than White, I'm just gonna take I'm gonna take the Corsair as the best card. I want to keep passing these black cards. I don't want to be in black, and uh, I don't want a Chimera in this deck. So we'll take the Corsair in case it's open. Um, I don't really want any of these cards at all. However, if we if we get enough ordeals, I'm actually not against playing this uh, Triton short. Uh, Short Thief, and it actually is kind of fine with uh, Master Waves, just, just a nice curve. So I'm actually going to take it here. That may seem really silly, but I am definitely not against it. And I'll take Fade, just in case, and I'll just take another Short short Thief here. So we're definitely playing blue, uh, looking to, to play white or green, not opposed to either. Um, I mean, we passed some good white cards, Phalanx Leader, a couple Gods Willings, and uh, the 3-mana 2-2 two -two Flyer. Huh. Well. Arbor Colossus is so good. So good. However, I'm going to take God Sea Revenge. God Sea's Revenge. Or Sea God's Revenge. Because it's just solid. And. I mean, it's not too early. Or too late to take the Arbor Colossus. It's just the triple green is, is, is very, very hard. And. Yeah, there's just so much green. Like, look at this. The green's just so powerful in this set. It's it's absurd. But I'm just gonna take the best card in the pack. Um. So this is a little unfortunate because there's not really any white cards in here I want to play. The rare is taken, so it's kind of hard to say. Um. I mean, out of all these cards, like, do I really want divine verdict and try to force white? Black and black is definitely open. Oh, this is so awkward. Yeah, I, blue blue is not going to be open this pack because we we definitely pa we passed like three solid blue cards. I'm just trying to think what the best. I mean, if I took the Arbor Colossus, which I mean, looking at it now was probably the pick. I'd be happy with this time defeat, but I'm going to try to force white. Just take this divine verdict. I I could take a black card, hoping to wheel a black card, but I want to try to get some white going here and green's just open this happens way too much oh this is so frustrating all right i i'm gonna stick to color i'm just gonna stick to blue and just take aqueous form yeah this is this is just this sucks Yeah, I'm not, I should have just took that Arbor Colossus. <sighs> hmm. I actually don't even know what the pick is here. This is, this is not going the way I want it to go. That is for sure. Let's just burnish heart. All right, Evangel of Heliod. Or no, no, never mind. If we're uh, we want the Cetessian Battle Master or Cetessian Battle Battle Priest, sorry. God, this is annoying. Another Nessian Asp. Jeez. Jeez. I'm gonna stick to my guns here though, and just. Take this philosopher and just try to go 
Yeah, we're, we're not in the right colors. This is bad. I could have drafted better. I'm just going to take last of the whip. All right, well, then, this is, like, I want every card in this pack, except, like, I want all all these cards. And God's willing, like I said before, it's just the best card for for stuff like this. So I'm going to I'm gonna take God's willing. And uh, Chosen by Heliod is good. Trigger's heroic. I'm just going to hide green here. Hide this burner shard. I don't want to play it. I'm surprised that we haven't seen any of the the two mana two twos in blue white. I'm hoping blue is going to be open pack two, or pack three. I feel like blue should be open pack three. Oh wow, yeah, we were in the wrong colors for sure. I'm just taking the card that I can play. If we if we win this, I'll uh, I will be pretty happy because our deck's looking pretty awful right now. But I mean, we got a whole other pack that uh, I mean, we can definitely change this around for sure. It does suck because the Triton Short Thief is not really what I want to be doing unless I have a bunch of ordeals. Yeah. This is awful. Alright, I'm just going to take the best card. Who knows, maybe we draft another three color deck. Alright, I'm going to hide this Ephra's Warden. I'm not a big fan of playing it. I think I already have a Sandals, but I don't really need Demolish. Maybe I don't have a Sandals. Never mind. Alright, well we'll hide it for now. So we definitely just want some better quality creatures. Like we got... Ordeal, God's Willing, Aqueous Form... Not playing that. We got Divine Verdict Grip Tie. Like, we got some removal. We just need some... We need some creature quality. That's what we need. Maybe some, like, more ordeals. I mean, if we picked up, like, two more ordeals and some good aggressive creatures, then uh, I would like that. Green is just flowing. Yeah, we could have had a Boon Seder, too. This is gross. Alright, it's it's too late to to switch, I think. And Calvary Calvary Pegasus, I wish I could pronounce that. Um, is fine with some humans we have. This sucks. We could have Boon Seder. Alright, well let's just keep passing the good cards. Uh actually I'll take the look one. I just like the three power. Okay, well, I mean we got Shipbreaker Kraken is like a nice bomb, but if we're trying to curve out and just beat down, I think God Sees Revenge just might be better. Yeah, I like the I like this. Like passing this does kind of suck, but this is very good if we're curving out really nice. It can just finish them, and having two in a deck is is solid. Um, and yeah, Horizon Chimera is fine here. It's good for our devotion, and it's it's just a good flyer. So we'll, we'll take the Precinct Chimera. And uh, yeah, perfect. Uh, Vaporkin is definitely a good creature. I mean, battle-wise, uh, Valor is very nice in, in this type of deck too, but I think we just want the Vaporkin. And that's awesome. Okay, uh, I guess there's a Wingsteed Rider. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to take the Vaporkin here. I really like the Vaporkin. Vaporkin is just one of the best things you can do turn two in my opinion. So yeah, we'll take the Vaporkin. So, I mean, this definitely went a little bit better. Let's just hide this red card. So, I mean, we got a deck. We, we, we got creatures into God's, Sea God's Revenge. So, it's definitely good. Plus, Vaporkin is good with our Master of Waves as well. Huh. I've seen more stacks. I definitely should be in green right now. Like, we'd have a pretty decent blue-green deck. That is for sure. Battlewise Hop Light, that's what it's called. I feel like there's just millions of those when I when I don't go blue white, I just see like three or four draft. So I kinda I kinda went into white just assuming that I'd see at least two. Cause they're just so good in a deck like this. So good. And I don't know what's taking so long. I'm just gonna pause it till the, the next pick comes up. 
All right, that's awesome. I did not expect to see an ordeal of Heliod this late. That is nice, especially to go with our two Vaporkins. This is sweet. This is sweet. Definitely happy to see that. Um, nothing really here that I want. I probably don't need the Benthic Giant. I think I'm just going to take the Anal for the sideboard. Yeah. Uh, Shredding Winds is good against us. I don't think we're playing the, the, the Crackling Triton. That I think I'm just going to just hate the Shredding Winds. This might be incorrect, but I'm just going to hate it. Alright, uh, I think I'm just going to take the Ray here for the sideboard. I might even mainboard it. Yeah, it's looking like I might even mainboard it. Lost in the Rat Labyrinth is a fine card. I guess it does trigger Heroic to like draw a card and stuff and like tap stuff down. But uh, I, I think I'm just going to take the Ray here. I do like some sideboard options. And I'm actually fine playing this in Tess and Griffin as a 5-mana a 3-2 flyer. It's, it's fine. Uh, we're never going to be able to use its ability, but it's better than any of these other cards for us. And same thing. I mean, none of these other cards we care about, and we'll just take the Griffin. Excuse me. We'll take another Anal for the sideboard. I guess we'll take another Ray. So, I mean, pack, pack three was good to us, I, I would say. Yeah, not too unhappy. Our, our creature quality isn't isn't the best. But we can definitely, like, you know, curve out nice and do a Sea God's Revenge, which is pretty cool. I think I probably will play at least one of these Satess and Griffins. Alright, so we definitely want these. Definitely want Master Grip type. Probably play the Hippocamp. Uh, and the Aqueous. Um, I might even just want to play both Griffins, to be honest. Uh, Divine Verdict. We're going to Ban now. There. Okay, so this is 24. So this is without, if we had th one more deal, I'd probably play these. I mean, Ephra's Warden can actually be very good in a lot of matchups, but I don't really want another four drop. I think I'm just gonna play, play it like this. Yeah, I like it like this. Uh, I, I don't need to burn a shard. I don't, I don't really need any of this stuff. I'll just sideboard in the rays if I need it, or the Ephra's Warden if I need it. I think I'm going to run it like this. Um, and it's looking like... Probably 9-8 in favor of blue. Just because of our Vaporkins, I guess. Well, I guess I have 16 land in here. I actually uh, 16 land seems really greedy, but I'm actually going to run it with 16 land. Maybe not, because we need to hit our 6 land drop. Yeah, you know what, I'm fine. I'm fine with it like this. I mean, it's a little awkward, because we do have kind of high curve, but 16 lands is fine. Like, we have enough things to do, like, turn 2, turn 3... You know, miss a land drop, play something else, play a four drop, and so on. That I think it's going to be okay. Well, we do have some scry cards. We have some. Um, we have some cantrips here. Uh, if we target our, uh, our fortune hunter, we get to draw some cards. So, so this is fine. All right. We'll see you back for round one.